Well, a major attraction at Aero India has been the Tapas. It's an unmanned aerial vehicle. Tapas stands for Tactical Airborne Platform for Aerial Surveillance. The videos that Tapas has captured of a dress rehearsal of Aero India. Remember, this is going above the Surya Kiran and others, and the video that has been captured by Tapas has garnered a lot of international attention apart from domestic attention for the kind of detailing, for the kind of high resolution videos that have come out and many are saying it's a path breaking introduction to the Indian Defence Forces. Remember the country has been heavily dependent on Israel when it comes to UAVs and other similar technologies but Tapas really could be a game changer. Remember it currently this video was shot at an altitude of around 12,000 feet has great endurance. The aim is to ensure it can go on at least 21, 24 hours in one flight. And also, uh, it has a Karnataka connection. It is being currently tested at the DRDO facility in Chittadurga in Karnataka. And a lot of development happening. A weaponized version of this drone also currently under development. Dr. Tessie Thomas, who is the Director General of uh, Aeronautical Systems of DRDO with us. Ma'am, how crucial is this for the Defence Forces? Why is it being built as a path-breaking introduction? Yeah, uh, it's a technology where in which uh, unmanned aerial vehicles at very high altitude can, uh, uh, can be used for the surveillance of the areas as well as the reconnaissance systems, tracking systems and a lot of inputs can come for the defence capability. It can be a, uh, this can act as a team member in a teaming uh, where manned, unmanned, uh, uh, means aircraft flying or formation flying also. So it has already proven the capability PJSQR wise. We have already sh shown an endurance of 18 hours flown and we have some more capacity to fly for uh, further duration as well as uh, 28,000 feet has been, we have flown the uh, tapas as it is and it has all electronic uh, payloads like ALINT, COMINT uh, and uh, IFF, the identification friend of OI, if an uh, aircraft or any uh, aerial vehicle is coming, it can, it has the capability to identify whether it is a friendly one or within uh, any other uh, enemy, uh, is it a threat to us. Yeah. So it has all the uh, payload capability with the radar, uh, SAR based systems, as well as electro-optic uh, thing and we have demonstrated as you mentioned demonstrated the capability of uh, uh, surveillance of the areas from far distance. Absolutely, in fact that video has captured a lot of imagination from across India and abroad as well. How is Tapas capturing such high resolution videos? Uh, imagine Tapas flying over at 12,000 feet capturing the videos of choppers and Surya Kiran with such great detailing. It was at high altitude of 15,000 uh, feet and could cover, yeah, we, we thought because our de capability has to be demonstrated, this is the occasion to s see how well we will capture from long distance. That's why, that was our aim. And to improve upon this uh, uh, twin engine uh, uh, system, we wanted to move on to a single engine wherein which uh, weight reduction by 1000 kg, one ton weight reduction will be able to be there with all the capabilities and with the enhancements uh, going up to 30,000 feet, which is our uh, requirement. That's and the model you're talking about? Yeah, that's this is the one which, which will take us to that. And highly optimized systems, electronic systems, everything will be of one grade upper than this uh, versions. Doing it for uh, yeah. line of sight as well as beyond line of sight capabilities with uh, auto takeoff and landing at all. Yeah, that's the uh, major advantage with both this uh, tapas as well as the advanced version. And this is a weaponized version. Uh, we are calling it as Archer. Okay, so this will be a weaponized one and could play a very crucial role. We have seen Israel <laughs> using it very effectively, several other countries using it very effectively. So you're saying in the coming days, this is something that will become reality uh, as far as the defense forces are concerned in the country. Well. Thanks a lot, ma'am, for talking to us. There you go. A crucial introduction to the Defence Forces and already Aero India has acted as the perfect platform to show off the capability of Tapas, which could be a game changer in the coming years. In Bengaluru, Harish Upadhyay.